Jerry Coleman is up. Here's the pitch. And Coleman hammers a long drive into left center. Where the ball falls between Mayo and Ashburn for a single, which breaks up the ball game. Woodling tallies the winning run, score three to two. And the Yankees take a commanding three-game lead in the series. Billy Martin, Yankee second baseman, steps into the batter's box. Levine gets set. There's the pitch. And Martin drills a hard drive through the box into center field for his 12th base hit. Power scores with a winning run to give the New York Yankees the World Series. This final game ends in a 4-3 to three score. Dusty Rhodes, sub outfielder, comes off the bench to bat for Urban. He's been a big man for the Giants this season. 15 pinch hits in 45 trips. Rhodes cuts at the first pick. And there goes the ball down the right field line. A home run into the seats and the ball game's over. The Giants win this opener of the 1954 World Series 5-2. to two. And the Polo Grounds rock with tumultuous applause. The storybook finish is the biggest moment in the baseball career of Dusty Rhodes. Robinson after a foul and a ball flashes a drive to left. The leap by Slaughter is in vain. Gilliam comes home in the single with a run which wins for the Dodgers one to nothing. Let's have another look at that play. It's a tough one for Charlie to lose and a grand one for Levine to win. The crowd saw two great pitchers today and baseball drama at its best. It's Eddie Matthews at the plate. And he connects. Hank Bauer moves back, but the ball is out of reach. A home run and a 7-5 Milwaukee victory. It was nothing new for Eddie as he had hit 32 homers during the 1957 season. Matthews Homer has even the series at two and two, and his teammates give Eddie a hero's welcome. The scrappy Milwaukee Braves and their courageous left-hander Warren Spahn have turned what looked like a heartbreaking defeat into a great it victory. Brings up Billy Bruton. Billy works the count to one and one, and then whistles a line of the right center. That's a hit all the way, and Adcock scores the run that gives the Braves a four to three victory. Bruton and Adcock are mobbed by the jubilant Braves. 